today we're reading about fairies. Far, far away, farther than you've ever imagined, there is a magical place called Neverland. It used to be Never Neverland, but we shortened it back in 1911. Oh, sorry, I should introduce myself. I'm Tinkerbell. <laughs> I've lived here forever. No, seriously, like forever. <laughs> Since the beginning of time. You see, I'm a fairy. <laughs> and as you know, fairies can live forever. Well, as long as enough children still believe in fairies. You do believe in fairies, don't you? Good. <laughs> Being a fairy means I can fly. <laughs> see? <laughs> My friend Peter can fly too, but he's not a fairy. He needs fairy dust and happy thoughts to fly. Hey Tink, who you talking to? Those kids out there. Guys, say hi to Peter Pan. Hi. I've been telling them all about Neverland and everyone who lives here. You should tell them the story of Captain Hook. Which one? Good point. I guess there are a lot. Well, maybe you should start with the story of how we met the darlings. Great idea. Okay, kids, get settled, because this story takes lots of twists and turns. It started one night around bedtime. Peter was flying around the mainland just as parents were putting their children to sleep. Peter would listen at nursery windows, hoping to hear a bit of a bedtime story. He remembered hearing bedtime stories when he was just a little baby, and it made him feel really happy to hear them again. So there he was, flying around, looking and listening for the best story, when he heard the sweetest voice. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Cinderella. Well, that's what her mean stepsisters and stepmother called her. Peter Pan listened to every word and was so sad when he finally heard. And everyone lived happily ever after. Not because he doesn't like everyone living happily ever after. No, that's great. It was just that I wanted to listen to this girl's stories forever. Peter Pan began flying back to the same nursery night after night, and the girl's stories only got better and better. Well, one night, Peter was so content that he drifted off to sleep during her story. Then, while he was sleeping, his shadow decided to sneak away. Shadows can be quite sneaky, by the way. <laughs> hey, come back. Stop that. Is that you, John? Get back in bed. Oh, what did you say, Wendy? Don't be scared. It's only my shadow. I'll just take it and be going. Aw, oh, nuts. Hold still. <laughs> Who are you? Me? I'm Peter Pan. And that's how Peter Pan came to meet the darlings. Hey guys, so let's get back to the story. The darling children had just awakened to find Peter Pan flying around their nursery, chasing his runaway shadow. <laughs> Not your typical night. Nice to meet you, Peter. I'm Wendy. And I'm John. Hi, Wendy and John. Sorry about my shadow. Got it. Yay. Maybe I could sew it back on. That'd be great. Better? Perfect. How did you learn to fly like that? My friend Tink taught me. Tink? Me? A fairy! Can you teach us to fly? Please, please, please! All you have to do is think wonderful, lovely thoughts. But I think happy thoughts all the time and I've never flown. You have to concentrate really hard. I'm thinking of adorable tiny kittens. I'm thinking of a giant Ferris wheel. Petey, you're forgetting the most important part. Oh, right. Fairy dust. Now think of lovely thoughts. Whoa! Whoa! Huh? We're flying, Michael! I want to fly. Are you thinking happy thoughts? Yep. I'm thinking of flying! Yay! Shh! I hear Nana coming! Quick! Pretend you're asleep! Did I hear a ruckus in here? No, Nana! No ruckus! Hmm! Good! Now go to sleep! Hey! You should come to Neverland with us! What's Neverland? What's Neverland? Why, Neverland is only the most amazing place in the whole universe. Well, I've never heard of it. It's not on any globe or map. It's out there, over the sea, past the stars. Jeez, don't they teach you guys anything in school? <laughs> Come with us and see it. There are mermaids. Mermaids? Oh, let's go! Wait, we can't go out without Nana's permission. But when Nana's not here, you're in charge, Wendy. Oh, that's true. I am the eldest. Please, can we go, Wendy? Please? 
All right. Just for a little bit, but we have to be back by morning. Hooray! All right. Okay. Lovely, happy thoughts, everyone. And fairy dust. This is incredible! Simply wonderful! To Neverland! I wish I had some fairy dust so I could fly. <laughs> I feel weird. Pan, you gotta do something! She needs her fairy glitter, otherwise she gets really weak. What are we gonna do? Well, there's one thing. If everybody claps, then we'll show her that people still believe in fairies. Of course we believe in fairies. And all of you, out there, if you believe in fairies all together, I need you to clap your hands. Please. Please, for my bestie, clap your hands so Tink can hear you. Hi, I'm Pam. Peter Pan, I have so much cool stuff to show you guys, but first I want to tell you about a very special family, the Darling family. And there was a huge battle. You'll never catch me. Oh yeah? Watch me. And Peter Pan was so quick, flying through the air like a little white bird. Yep, they're talking about me. Every night, Mrs. Darling tells bedtime stories about me and all my buddies. And my favorite thing to do is listen outside the window. Soaring through the air with Tinkerbell. I love this part. They race to the pirate ship in the middle of the sea. Come on, Tink. Those pirates won't get away with this. I got your back, buddy. Hey, I have a great idea. Yeah? How about in this story, I get to be Tinkerbell? Ooh. Please, I've always wanted to be a fairy with wings. I love it. Yes, this is awesome. And these wings are more glittery than I imagined. Huh, Tink, what'd you say? Uh, <laughs> nothing. Land ho! What, Tink, you're being so weird. Um, look. Whoa, yeah, there they are, quick. Hey, you stinky old pirates. Oh man, not this kid again. Put your dukes up, Starkey. Ah, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. What's all this fuss about? You know what, Zoro? I think you're so brave. Who, me? Yes, brave enough to play a pirate. Yeah, totally. I can do this! A pirate! Arr. Um, okay. Where's your leader? You mean Captain Hook? Arr. And then... I, I want to fly, fly like Peter, Peter Pan. Pan! Hey, Mom! I can fly! Watch me! <laughs> Ouch. Is it weird I like to listen to stories about myself? All right, all right, kids. I think it's about time for bed. Nana! <laughs> yep, their babysitter is a dog. I'm telling you, the craziness is only getting started. Sure. And she speaks. <laughs> hmm, that's weird. I could have sworn I heard something out there. Whew. <laughs> They're all set for bed, Mrs. Darling. I've looked high and low for my phone, you guys. Um, I don't have it. My girl? Sorry, Dad. It was our buried treasure. Huh? You know, like in the story of Peter Pan. Peter Pan? Oh, Dad, Peter Pan? Oh, that silly kid. Hey, rude. All right, everyone to bed. Especially you, Wendy. You have a big math test tomorrow. Ugh, growing up is hard. Don't do it! Don't grow up! We, we won't! Night-night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mom. You closed the window? Uh, yeah. It's freezing. But Peter Pan... <sighs> might come to the window. Huh? To visit... <laughs> oh, Wendy dear. Peter Pan is just a story. Peter is not real. Ha! That's what she thinks! But one night, I was listening to stories minding my own beeswax. The kids were doing their bedtime routine. 
So one night, the kids were doing their bedtime routine. Story, bath, brush your teeth, bed. You know, the huge. Me and my shadow were chilling outside. Oh, BT Dubs, that's my shadow. She comes with me everywhere I go. Right, shadow? <laughs> what, what is that smell? <laughs> Smells like cinnamon buns? John, ew! Oh, I was saving that for later. <laughs> OMG, that's so gross. Is it me? I, I swear I showered. Ooh, not sure. Yesterday? No. Yes. Today? No. It was definitely yesterday. It smells like Girl Scout cookies. A possible intruder. But Nana, I'm telling you, there's nothing out. Gotcha. What the? I can't believe it. You're real. I'm sorry, Shadow. I gotta get out of here. I'll come back for you. Uh, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. That was not good. What am I gonna? You know what? Uh, Tank, don't sneak up on me like that. Sorry, boss. And I told you, you don't need to call me boss. Oh, sorry, boss. Um, boo thing. Ah, Tank, I lost my shadow. The darlings totally trapped me, and now they have it. What are they gonna do with it? Oh, no. Well, we should go get it back. Yeah, you're right. But we gotta wait until they go to sleep. Meanwhile, back at the Darlings. I can't believe it! She's really real! I knew it! And her shadow detached from her body. Scientifically, that is a conundrum. Well, this is certainly more exciting than our regular bedtime routine. We should put her shadow in the drawer for safekeeping. I'll help. Oh, goodness! In you go! Operation Shadow Rescue on a door cold night! Little long-winded there, Pan. Right. Operation Shadow, underway. Gonna need a shovel. Really? A battery pack. Um... A grapple. What is that? This kayak. Seems a little excessive. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's go get that shadow. Wait a minute, Miss Booksy. I thought there were going to be pirates in this story. Yes, Zoro? I just really like being a pirate. Don't worry, your special part is coming up. Okay, cool, back to the story. Okay, I'm gonna crack open the door and since you're tiny, you fly in and try to find my shadow. Awesome, p on three. One, two. Huh? Oh, uh, I was thinking we could start a team cheer. No time, go. Hmm, no, nope, not under there. What about here? No. OMG, Peter, here! Oh, my shadow! Hey, I'm in here! Oh, I miss ah. you, you little cute hey. shadow, you! Ah. Hey! Ah. Oh, oh my. Ah. What is going on? Glitter in this pouch, and I'm not afraid to use it. Peter, I knew you'd come back. Oh, um, hello. My name is Pete. Uh, well, I guess you know my name since you just said it. <laughs> uh, I get nervous making new friends. Oh, Peter, let me help you with that. Gee, I uh, I'm not used to having someone take care of me like this. Really? What about your mom? Her, well, I live in Neverland, and there are fairies and mermaids and pirates, but my parents work a lot, so I don't get to see them very much. Oh, that must be so hard. Yeah, but you seem like such a good mother. Well, I'm not exactly a mother. Oh, I have a great idea. What about being a Cub Scout mom? Are you kidding me? Sorry, I'm so confused. Well, in Neverland, I'm the Cub Master for a whole group of Cub Scouts. We'd love to have someone like you in our troop. So what do you say? Want to come to Neverland with me? So what do you say? Want to come to Neverland with me? Oh my, that's, that's, a, that's a big decision. What about my home and my brothers and my math test tomorrow? What's a math test? You know, addition, 
Subtraction? Multiplication? Radical expression? Uh, the only radical expressions I know are like, yeah, serves up, bro, radical man, totally, dude. Look, Peter, I can't just leave my brothers. They can come with. Hey, little dudes, wake up, rise and shine. I'm awake. Hiya! Whoa, you're ready for action, little guy. <laughs> what, what? What's happening? Is that you, Peter? Yep. So me and your big sis are headed to Neverland. You coming? Yes. Oh, I, uh, boys, I, I don't know. We should think about this. Miss Wendy, I promise I'll keep you guys safe. Let's just all go have an adventure together, and I'll get you back here in time for your muffin test. Math test. Whatever. Let's go. Um, Peter? Oh, I almost forgot. Just close your eyes and think of your favorite candy and your favorite song. La, la, la. Michael, shush. And fly. Um, Peter. Not now, Tink. I'm working over here. Peter. Tink, I swear I can't think when you keep saying my name. Peter. Um, right. Thanks, Tink. Fairy Glitter. Tinkerbell, hit him with your best shot. Sure, boss. Oh, my. I've always wanted to fly. From a physics standpoint, this seems impossible. But I like it. <laughs> you guys are doing great. Keep your spirits up and your eyes on me. Let's go to Neverland. And Tink, keep a steady stream of Fairy Glitter, too. You got it. As the new friends flew from their house through the sky to Neverland, they encountered some amazing things in the sky. Hey, look, a flying metal tube. You mean an airplane? <laughs> okay, Wendy, nobody calls it that. Um, literally everyone calls it an airplane, Peter. Whatever, let's grab onto the wings and go for a ride. Whee! Um, uh oh. Oh boy, maybe we should try something else. Everybody, jump! Whoa, I'm floating! You don't even need fairy glitter here. Ooh, is that the moon? My research indicates that the moon is made of cheese. Only one way to find out! Oh, Peter, you wouldn't! <laughs> Watch me! Mmm, tastes like chicken. Cheesy chicken. <laughs> Meanwhile, things on the pirate ship were getting a little wild. Okay, 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 you bunch of ragamuffins. Listen up. Or what? Ah, Starkey, I can't deal with you being snarky. Sit down. Ah, uh, sorry, Smee. I'll clean that up right away. Listen, Captain Hook has had a really bad day. What else is new, Mr. Sticky Attitude Hook? Anyways, he lost his special glove that he wears over his hook to sword fight and, and other piratey things. Yar, I heard Hook crying all night long. Shh, Bob, don't say his name. We don't want to wake him up. He was taking his afternoon nap. Ah, who dared utter my name? Uh-oh. Bill Jukes. Yes, sir. Was it me, sir? Get me my tablet. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, where is Pan? Lost retractor. She was at Mermaid Lagoon. Do, do you think Pan stole your glove? Of course I think Peter Pan stole me glove. She's always up to mischief, that one. Urgh. Peter Pan's impossible to track. Do you want someone to walk the plank to make you feel better? Oh. Hmm, Bob. Oh, please, sir, not again. Just kidding. Phew. Maybe tomorrow. Oh. Everyone was stunned by the beauty of the Mermaid Lagoon. Why, I've never seen anything quite like this before. I hear them singing. Watch that one over there. She's on the national flipping team. Wow, they swim so fast. You think that's fast? Watch this. Ah, oh, Peter. We missed you, Peter. Where have you been? Ah, oh, just 
just been out making new friends, wheeling and dealing. Silly girl. Whoa there! I can have lots of friends at once. Well, I know your BFF Tank should be around here somewhere. Tank? Tank? Hey, ladies. You giving Peter a hard time. <coughs> yes. Well, we're just joking. Here, catch. Uh-huh. You mermaids ready for a rematch? Last time Peter and I kicked your booties in this game. Oh, yeah. Game on. Back at the ship, Captain Hook and the pirates came up with a scheme to find Pan. Arr, I say we go to the Greenpeace Club. Yeah! And kidnap their leader, Tiger Lily. Yeah! She's friends with Pan. We'll use Tiger Lily to lure Peter Pan to us. <laughs> yeah! It was true. Peter Pan and Tiger Lily were really good friends. Tiger Lily was a park ranger and the leader of the Greenpeace Club. They were a group of environmentalists, which pretty much means they lived off the land and tried to protect Mother Earth. There's Tiger Lily now. Oh, I just love squash. This butternut is going to be delightful. Hey, boss. Hey, Tiger Lily. We heard there's some new peeps afoot in Neverland. Cool. New friends. Well, we don't know that yet. Yeah, with your permission, we want to go check them out. Make sure they aren't a threat to the environment. Sure, but be back soon. I'll make you herbal tea. Okay. okay. Now, Smee, follow my lead. Okay, Captain. We're going to pretend to be farmers. Put on this hat. Why, Captain? Arr, no time to explain. Just follow me. Do da do da do. I love plants. La 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 la. And trees. Do da do. I love the sun. Um, excuse me, ma'am. Yes, farmer. I'm sorry. I don't think we've been acquainted. We haven't. What my colleague is trying to say is that we are new farmers here. Hmm. I usually know about all the activity here at Greenpeace Club. Uh, uh, uh. And what happened to your hand? Uh-oh. And why must you ask so many questions, girl? This is not going to be good. I think you need to leave. I'm not leaving until you tell me where Pan is. Captain Hook, I knew it. Tell me where Pan is or you'll walk the plank. Let me go. I'm a pacifist. I don't like to fight. But while Tiger Lily was fighting for her life, the mermaids noticed the onlookers at their game. Hey, look, invaders. Be gone, you strangers. Splash them. Hey, stop it. Girls, girls, quit it. We don't want any interlopers here. <coughs> we mean no harm. Everyone stop. This is your last chance, Tiger Lily. No way. It's Captain Hook. And Tiger Lily. Oh no, he must have captured her. We gotta save her. Okay, Wendy, you stay with the den. But I want to come with you, Peter. I can help. Okay, fine. Wendy, you come with me. Scouts, you take the darling boys back to the bunker. And mermaids, chill out. These are my friends. Tink, let's go. So Peter Pan, Wendy, and Tink flew quick as a flash towards Captain Hook and Tiger Lily. I hope we make it in time. Almost there. This would be a lot easier if you would just tell me where Pan is. I'm a loyal friend, and I won't give her to you. Aw, oh, come on. Sorry, BFF code of honor. Arr, it's very important that I find Pan. She has something of mine. Like what? Your sense of decency? A fly I would never hurt. But Pan? Ugh. Oh, Peter Pan, I'll squish her like a fly. You're so rough, dude. You have no idea. Who hurt your feelings so bad that you're this way, Hook? Well, it was this one time when I was little and... Hey, stop trying to understand me. I'm a mean pirate. That's that. I don't believe that. There must be a good guy under there. I'm not so sure. We all belong to this planet and Mother Earth is love. Stop it with this nonsense. I'm bad and you're whatever. And Pan is toast. Let's go. Peter, you have to do something! Tink, we got this. I 
promise, Tiger Lily. You're gonna love walking the plank. Not if I can help it. What? Who said that? Over here. Who? What? Where? Oh, Captain Hook! Huh? Look! Right over there! <laughs> you just got fairy glittered, man! What in the world? Um, Captain? Oh no you don't, you stinking pirate! You're not getting away that easily! I knew you'd come, Pan! Of course! BFF Code of Honor! Quick! Well, my plan worked. All I wanted was to find... Yeah. Hey, well, what's happening? Fairy glitter. Come on, Peter. What is this? This witchcraft? Well, only enough magic in there to make you float for, like, five minutes. By then, we'll be long gone. <laughs> oh, thank the goddess. Sorry to leave you hanging. <laughs> Get it? Hanging? Floating? Tink, come on. No time for jokes. Peace out, dudes! <laughs> Meanwhile, the scouts and darling boys had been on their way back to the bunker. Not too much longer, boys. Just a smidge more walking. My calculations tell me we should head due north. Have you had that compass this whole time? Why, yes. I never leave home without it. And my calculations tell me it's snack o'clock. Finally! Yeah, my belly is a rumbling for some treats. Nibs, what do you got? Well, I have been so excited to have you guys taste test these candies. We love candy. I do say, this looks splendid. It's filled with chocolate and sprinkles and butterscotch and sour gummies and sugar snap peas and covered in powdered sugar. Sounds interesting. Tastes interesting. While we rest our weary bodies, we should play a game of charades. Yay! We'll, we'll go, go first. first. Three words. Um, Santa Claus? No. First word. Measuring out flour for a cake? No. Scooping sauce onto pasta? No. Squeezing glue to make slime? Come on, man. Isn't it obvious? No. no. We're, We're carving, carving a, a pumpkin. pumpkin. Oh. oh. Uh, I think I ate too much. My tum tum. Well, we should probably get back before it gets too dark. Yeah, let's go! One little problem. The members of the Greenpeace Club were hot on their trail. Remember they were looking for the new people they heard about in Neverland? Well, let's just say the Darling Boys didn't make a great first impression. <gasps> Trash! You mean littering. We have to find who did this. And bring them to Tiger Lily. Man, oh man, she's not going to be happy about this. Earth vandalizers on our island? No bueno. Let's get them. So the members of the Green Peace Club were relentlessly looking for the earth vandalizers, aka the scouts and darling boys who left trash behind in the woods. That's a big no-no. Plastic? I can smell it. Yep, this way. <laughs> It was a really fun game of charades. Yeah, but how could you not guess carving a pumpkin? So easy. Twas not. Was too. Sorry, twins. It was pretty tricky. Shh, quiet. Shh, did you hear that? I don't hear anything. Shh. What is it, John? Not sure yet. I hear rustling. It's probably just a deer. Or a pirate. What? what? No, those steps are heavier than a deer. But lighter than an elephant. There aren't elephants in the woods. It's Neverland. You want to bet? Shh, stop arguing before something bad. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> gotcha. What do what? Let us out of here. This is unacceptable. We come in kindness. Um, you literally trapped us. How is that kind? Well, we don't know what kind of vagrants are roaming this island. It's our mission to keep this a peaceful place and the land pure. This is all very harmonious, but can you let us out of here? We'll let you out, but you have to come with us. What? Why? Oh, JK, you scouts are good. We know you. Yay! But you boys need to come with us. No! 
now! Sorry, they violated the Neverland Environmental Law 26.2. Never ever litter in Neverland! Well, how do you know it was us? Come on, man! Uh, what? Who? Uh, me? Ugh, Michael! Well, we aren't leaving without our new friends. Yeah, you either take none of us or all of us. Uh, okay, fine. Everyone line up. Oh, that didn't quite go how I thought it would. Wait, I have a better idea. We can run back to the bunker and get Peter. Yes, she'll know what to do. Yeah. Oh, um, okay, fine. Go ahead, take them. Yeah, we def won't be going to, uh, get help or anything. What? Don't worry, we have a plan. Okay, whatever. You two, let's go. John, this is very bad. Where's Wendy? You're coming with us to our headquarters. But what everyone didn't know was that Peter was on her way to the Greenpeace Club with Tiger Lily. Wait, so if the scouts are going to the bunker to find Peter, she won't even be there. Right, because Peter will be at the Greenpeace Club. And that's where the Darling Boys are headed right now. Yes, everyone is basically headed in the same direction at the same time. I wonder what will happen when they all end up at the Greenpeace Club together. John, I'm scared. I know, I am too. But I'm sure that Wendy and Peter will figure out a way to save us. Thanks for your help back there, Pan. Of course. <laughs> I just knew you'd come. You bet. We'll make sure you get back to the club safely. Come on, little dudes. You're moving too slow. Yeah, the seasons are gonna change before we get there. Huh? Sorry, we all gotta start running. Oh, man. Faster. Run faster. I'm running as fast as I can. Yeah, sorry, my legs are short. So basically everyone was running running towards each other. Almost there. I sure hope Michael and John are okay. Huh? Random time for you to be thinking about them. I just have this weird feeling. I miss Wendy. I know, me too. Come on, keep running. Just a little farther. Tink, why are you wasting your energy running? You can fly. I can fly? OMG, for a quick sec I forgot. We're flying now. I can fly. Oh! Sorry! Well, I'll be darned! How is this happening? We're flying? Wendy, is that you? John, do you know these guys? Boss, there you are! We were just coming to see you! Peter, save us! We've been trapped! What? But these guys are my friends! And you guys are my friends! And you guys are my friends! And I know you, and you, and you! Michael, are you okay? Everybody, chill. Ouch! Oh, my booty, Tink. Why'd you do that? Cause we all need to keep calm, carry on talking. How poetic, Tink. I think she means we need to figure out what the heck is going on here. My thoughts exactly. So the groups all explained what the others were doing and how they were trying to arrive at the Green Peace Club at the same time. Tiger Lily even excused the Darling Boys for littering, since they were new to Neverland. They didn't know. But now we know, so we won't do it again. They realized they were all on the same side of things and enjoyed the Green Peace Club together. They drank some peppermint tea. Mmm, refreshing. I grew the peppermint leaves myself in my garden. They did some yoga. I feel so centered. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oops. They watered some plants. This is an echinacea plant. Good to keep you healthy. Cool. And this is lemon balm. Reduces anxiety. Oh, that's good for me. I'm a little, some might say, high strung. Tiger Lily sang everyone a peaceful song. The bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain. They took a nap under the shade of the trees. Ah, this is the life. Yeah, the sun is shining. Ah, and I'm sleepy. Ooh, not a care in the world. Ah! Wendy? Over here! Help! Wendy! 
Luigi, what happened? I was climbing, and I was stretching, and I was parkouring. And you fell off? Yeah, I think I'm okay. I don't think it's broken. Ouchie! Oh, man, we gotta get you back to the bunker, and fast. You can take my wagon, and Wendy can ride in that. Thanks, Tiger Lily, but I got a better idea. Wendy, hop on. Oh, boy. Let's fly. Wee! Peter, don't drop me. Don't worry, I gotcha. Hey, looks like those stinking pirates are finally leaving the shore. See you later, alligators. Don't taunt them, Tank. Ah, uh, they can't hear us. Right, pirates? Huh? Did you guys hear that? No, dude, relax. You're always so worried. But... Yeah, just embrace the chill island life. But... But it sounded like a bird, or a plane, or a fairy. But the thing was, the pirates were not leaving the shore. That's right, kids. This wasn't the last time Peter and her buddies would see the pirates. Huh? So the gang was flying fast as lightning toward the home under the ground so they could save Wendy's life. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's so dramatic. It's just a busted leg. She'll be fine after the scouts take care of her. Who are you talking to, Peter? Uh, no one. According to my calculations, we are four hairs past a freckle away. Huh? Meaning, we're almost there. Good, because my back is starting to ache. Oh, sorry, Peter. Oh, not to worry. Anything for a friend. And meanwhile, the scouts were looking all over the home under the ground for Peter. Remember, they went back there to get help for the Darling Boys. Where could Pan be? We are really going to need her help if we are going to save the Darling Boys. Uh, guys? What if she never comes back? Hello, guys. Oh, man. We should start gathering our food and making rations. You hey, guys, guys, look. Hey, guys. Incoming. <laughs> oh, ow, my booty. <sighs> Quick, guys. Wendy needs your help. Oh, no, Mother. You're hurt. We can help you, Mother. Right this way, Mother. We, we got, got you, mother. mother. Oh, oh, my. Thank you. Is she going to be okay? Will your medicine taste nasty, like the one our mommy gives us for a cough? Oh no, Michael, she won't even need any medicine. Yeah, we're going to patch this leg up lickety split. I'll get a piece of wood and make a split. And I'll get ribbon to tie it tight. And I'll get a chocolate ice cream sundae. Won't that be a little messy? Oh, John, you silly goose, it's not for her leg, just a little snack. Right. The scouts made quick work of fixing up Wendy's leg. After some wrapping, stitching, welding, and ice cream eating, Wendy was as good as new. Wow, thanks guys. I feel like a million bucks. And bonus, I don't know if you scouts realize this, but because of this incident, you all earned your first aid and medicine merit badges. Yeah! Hey Wendy, I'll bet you can fly better than ever now. You think? I know. Tink, hit her with a little fairy glitter. You got it, dude. Ah, uh, Tink? I, I swear I had another one in here. Another what? Tink, come on, we want to see Wendy fly. Uh, Pan, I think we have bigger fish to fry. My spare bag of glitter is... Is, is filled with glitter to keep this fun going? Uh... No, it's missing. What did you lose? Guys, it's true. I'm all out of fairy glitter. I'll bet that crooked Captain Hook stole it when we were busy saving Tiger Lily. You're right. Tink, what's wrong? It's her powers and her energy. She's getting weaker by the second. I feel weird. Pan, you gotta do something. She needs her fairy glitter. Otherwise, she gets really weak. What are we gonna do? Well, there's one thing. If everybody claps, then we'll show her that people still believe in fairies. Of course we believe in fairies. Well, sometimes people lose their faith, and Tink needs a little encouragement. Quick, Pan, I'm fading. And all of you, out there, if you believe in fairies all together, I need you to clap your hands. Please. Please, for my bestie, clap your hands so Tink can hear you. Ha <laughs> ha
Sorry to interrupt this really important moment, but I just needed to tell you Captain Hook did steal Tinkerbell's fairy glitter. Yup, I stole right from under her nose. Urgh. Captain, that's aggressive. Well, you gotta be aggressive if you want to get your way. I guess. And I want my special glove back from Pan. And I knew if I took that fairy's magical pouch of glitter, Pan would surely come back for it. Peter Pan certainly does seem to be a loyal friend. She's kind of always saving her friends. Ha ha! I'll use that loyalty to trap her. Oh boy. Come on, you guys! Clap! Clap! Please. Clap! Clap if you believe in fairies! They believe in you, Tink! I believe in magic. See, Tink, everybody loves you. We believe in fairies. Do you believe in magic? Tell me you believe. I believe. I'm feeling stronger and stronger. Clap a little bit more. I'm back, people. Thank you. See, people still do believe in magic. Magic is all around us. I love it. But this won't last long. We really gotta get to Hook's ship to get my glitter. We'll stay in the bunker in case Hook shows up here. We'll come with you, Pan. I'm ready to fight for your honor, Tink. <laughs> this better work because this is my last handful of fairy glitter. Let's go! Good luck! The group flew fast as lightning toward the pirate ship. You need to prepare yourself for battle, peeps. Yeah, those pirates are strong, but we're stronger! We can do this! Aha! See that? They're still by the shore. We gotta make a sneak attack. We'll follow your lead, Pan. Okay, shh. We gotta do this very quietly. Look! I see Smee and Bob and the others. What? What are they doing? Are they? Is that nail polish? Day. Ah, soft as a rabbit's booty. I love that mint green color. It brings out my eyes. Hold still. I'm trying to clip these toenails. Gross. When is the last time you did this? Mm, nasty. Count us in, Peter. Okay, here we go. We pounce on three. Like on three or after you say three? On my count of three. So when you say three, <sighs> ah, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> What's happening? Put up your dukes, me. Uh-oh. This is not going to be good. We won't hurt you if you take us to your leader. Oh, the little fairy is scary. You have no idea. I may look tiny, but I'm mighty. I believe you. Just don't hurt me. Dude, you guys are pirates. Aren't you supposed to be a little bit more, like, bloodthirsty or something? Now might not be a good time to say this, but I really don't like being mean. Ugh! Where's my bag of fairy glitter? Ha ha ha! I knew this bag of dumb old glitter would lure you back to my ship. Peter Pan can never turn down a chance to help a friend. Ha ha! Gotcha! Ugh, he used my kind heart against me. Gross. Pan, give us the word! Suddenly, Pan and Hook were cornered face to face. Give us back the fairy glitter. Never! You, you codfish! Then give me back my glove. Huh? My special glove. The one my grandma made me when I was a little boy to protect my hook and do piratey things. Whoa, this got heavy. Um, this glove? Are you kidding me? Sorry, boss. I didn't know this was the glove you were looking for. I've been using it to hold all the fish I catch. Ah, oh, I'll never get that stench out of my glove. Bob! Do you want him to walk the plank, sir? Yes! Plank! 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 plank. Oh, man! Oh, man! Here goes nothing! Huh? 
What? I wasn't gonna let one of me men drown. Just teaching him a little lesson. Let's all go. So, uh, Hook, the fairy glitter? I already snuck it back into Tink's pouch. Huh? Aw, oh, thanks! You know, this has been a lot of fun, but I kind of feel like it's time to go home. Sure, we can head back to the home under the ground. No, Peter, I mean our home, not in Neverland, where our parents are, and Nanny, our own beds. Oh, um, I thought we had more time together. Like, I kind of thought forever. Well, we def can be friends forever. I miss my mommy, too. Would you mind taking us back, Peter? Sure, yeah. That's what friends are for, right? Second star to the right. And straight on till morning. Tell the scouts thank you for everything. And Tiger Lily and the Greenpeace Club to keep on protecting the land. And tell the mermaids we'll come play bubble ball with them soon. This was a great adventure. I'll miss you, darlings. I really don't like goodbyes, so... How about see you later? See, see you, you later. later. Until next time, off to Neverland. Good night, boys. Good, Good night, night, Wendy. Wendy. Good morning, my darling darlings. Wendy, are you ready for your math test today? Huh? Wasn't that like months ago? Silly Wendy, of course not. We were just talking about it last night. But haven't we been in Neverland for so long? I'm not quite sure, but something magical definitely happened. The best parts of being a fairy. The first cool thing about being a fairy? Yeah. Hiding in small places. Remember when I got stuck in that drawer? <laughs> that was crazy, but it was okay, because us fairies are tiny, so we can squeeze and fit in the most random of spots. Try me. How about a clamshell? Easy. See? Hmm. Can you fit inside a water bubble? Easy breezy. Oops, sorry. That's okay. Next cool thing about fairies, we actually don't mind the dark. Ready, Zoro? Uh-oh. Where are we? Well, this is why fairies don't mind the dark. Our glitter wings are like a flashlight. Cool. Okay, while we're here in the woods, I want to tell you about the next cool thing about being a fairy. Is it this? Huh? Where did you even find that little guy? Let him go. Oops. Sorry. No, 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 Zoro. But that is actually kind of close. Us fairies use nature to make music. Like sticks and rocks and leaves? Yep. Watch this. Wow, I never knew fairies were so resourceful. Oh yeah, resourceful is my middle name. It is? No, it's Agatha, but still. So is there one more thing you got up your sleeve? You mean other than fairy glitter? Oh boy, here we go again. Oh yes, here we do go again. Because this is the final thing on my awesome list of cool things about being a fairy. Scaring your friends? No, dude. Flying. Right. That's pretty much what us fairies are most known for. Flying. Come on, Zoro. Give it your best shot. <sighs> okay. Whoa. This is fun. Told ya. I feel like an honorary fairy. You totally are, Zoro. Well, I hope you had fun learning more about fairies. And did you guys like learning about fairies? Yeah! Cool. Hi, kids. 
Welcome to Storytime at Cool School with me, Miss Booksy. Today, we're reading Sleeping Beauty. Chapter one, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Once upon a time in an enchanted land far, far away, there lived a king and a queen. One day, after many, many years of hoping for a baby, the king and queen had a little baby girl, a princess named Briar Rose. Everyone in the land was so excited about the new baby princess, especially the fairies. You see, fairies love babies. Aw, that's so sweet. So the fairies all got together to plan a party to celebrate little Briar Rose. Fairies also love parties. <laughs> Ooh, I love the streamers, Twinkles. Thanks, boss. And Sparkle, those cupcakes look scrumptious. Buttercup, how is the music coming? Great, I've almost got the speakers set up. Speakers work. Excellent. Everything was shaping up for a wonderful party. Well, all except for one teeny tiny detail that everyone overlooked. No one had invited Grimsley. Grimsley was not like the other fairies. The other fairies liked to flit and flutter about, singing sweet songs and sprinkling pixie glitter on everything. And Grimsley, well, Grimsley liked to do sort of mischievous things like gluing fairies' wings together. We're stuck! And filling the pixie glitter jars with dirt. And she absolutely loved to put curses on the other fairies. Curse you! I turn you into a frog! Hey! Wow, that is so mean. Grimsley just wasn't very nice. Maybe that's why it never occurred to any of the other fairies to invite her. Anyway, the party started out like any other fairy party. It was lots of fun and everyone was happy until... What? I just came to bring a present for the baby. Oh, how lovely, thank you. The king and queen opened Grimsley's present. But they were confused. What is this? A spindle? Briar Rose is far too young to play with a spindle. See kids, a spindle is a sharp, pointy thing used to make yarn. So not exactly a good gift for a baby. But then Grimsley said, You didn't read the card. It explains the curse. A curse? Oh no. This is gibberish. It says here that when Briar Rose turns 16, she'll prick her finger on a spindle and fall into a hundred years sleep. The only thing that will wake her is true love. And good luck with that. Hard to find love when you're nothing. What did she say? She just put a curse on Briar Rose. A purse? A curse. Oh no, curses are bad. That's right, kids. Curses are bad, especially when they're from an angry fairy. Grimsley flew away, but the damage was done. Everyone was majorly bummed out. The next day, the king and queen banned Grimsley from the kingdom and ordered that all spindles be thrown away. This is a no spindle zone, no spindles. And it remained a no spindle zone for exactly 16 years. And then one day, a nearly grown up Briar Rose went exploring around the castle. <laughs> know about this. What you doing? I'm spinning. <laughs> really? This is how I spin. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Makes me dizzy though. <laughs> I'm spinning yarn. Then I'll make you a pretty dress. Oh, that's so nice of you. Hey, I've never seen you around here before. Are you new? I've been around for years, but no one visits me much. Oh, well, now that I know you're here, I'll come and visit you every day. <laughs> hey, could I try? Ooh, I poked myself. Ugh, it's not too bad though. It only hurts a little bit. Too bad. She was actually kind of sweet. Oh well. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. What? No! That can't be. Briar Rose had fallen into a deep sleep. Oh no, just like the curse said she would. When she didn't show up for dinner, the king and queen began to worry. Everyone went looking for her. Briar Rose! Briar Rose, where are you? When they found her sleeping, the spindle beside her, they all knew that Grimsley was to blame. The king and queen were so upset, but Grand Fairy, the oldest and wisest of all the fairies, had an idea. I can cast a spell that will make everyone in the castle fall asleep and only wake when the princess wakes. Then it will be as if no time has passed at all. The king and queen agreed to it. Grand Fairy summoned all the magic she could, and with a wave of her fairy wand, everyone fell asleep. 
Yay, magic to the rescue. Let's keep reading. Chapter two, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Yep, still sleeping. And they slept and slept and slept. Nothing could wake them up. Over the years, the trees grew around the castle like a jungle, and eventually people kind of just forgot that it had ever even existed. But inside the castle, Briar Rose looked exactly as she did the day she fell asleep. Luckily, Grimsley hadn't cursed her dreams, and Briar Rose had plenty of sweet dreams. One time, she dreamed she lived in a land of puppies, just puppies everywhere for as far as the eye could see. Oh, so cute. Puppies! <laughs> and then another time, the puppies were replaced by kittens. <gasps> kittens! <laughs> Actually, there were lots of dreams like that. Puppies, kittens, ponies, unicorns, hamsters, unicorn hamsters. Pretty much anything cute slash awesome and Briar Rose dreamt about it. But Briar Rose's favorite dream was the one with the prince. Ah, the prince. The prince dream always started the same. Briar Rose would wake up bright and early. Then I would walk into the garden where all the birds and woodland creatures would come out to greet me. Hi, Briar Rose. Briar Rose is here. We love you, Briar Rose. I would do the usual dream stuff, like dance around and sing with the animals. But then a handsome prince arrives on horseback. That prince is so handsome. He is, of course, smitten with me and declares he is in love with me at first sight. Oh, princess, I'm in love with you at first sight. Marry me. I can't live without you. I hop onto his horse and we fly around. What? It's a dream. Horses fly in my dream. <laughs> anyway, then he whisks me away to his kingdom and we live happily ever after. <sighs> it's my favorite dream. But it was just that, a dream. Oddly enough, there was a prince from a nearby kingdom who looked a lot like the prince in Briar Rose's dream. His name was Prince John. Prince John and his brother Peter grew up hearing the legend of the sleeping princess and the true love that would save her. Everyone said her castle was somewhere deep in the woods, but no one had been able to find it. No way. I've been all through those woods. That's all just fairy tale stuff. You don't know for sure. It could be true. Yeah, right. Next you're going to tell me the fairies are real. But remember, kids, fairies are real. And they were on the lookout for a prince who might be Briar Rose's one true love. Ooh, this is so exciting. He seems like a nice boy. He doesn't even believe in fairies. No, not that one. The other one. The one who looks all dreamy-eyed whenever anyone mentions the princess. Oh, that one. Yes, he does seem nice. We have to lead him to the castle. Then he'll find Briar Rose. And somehow, they'll fall in love. Haven't figured that part out yet. Maybe we could just sprinkle him with some pixie glitter. Did you hear something? Huh? Gazoontite. Could have sworn I heard a tiny sneeze. Heh, <laughs> it was probably the fairies. Oh, look. He's handsome, too. Let's go tell Grand Fairy and Sparkle that we found the perfect prince. Twinkles and Buttercup flew back towards the castle, excited to tell the other good fairies that they had found a prince for Briar Rose. But they were suddenly stopped in their tracks. Uh, watch out! Hello, Stinkle, Butterpoop. What's up? It's Twinkles! And Buttercup! What are you doing here, Grimsley? You were banned! Yes, but the king and queen who banned me are fast asleep. What are they gonna do? Snore me to death? Well, they're gonna be awake soon because we found a charming young prince to come break the curse. Yeah, we're gonna tell Grand Fairy and Sparkle right now! You are, huh? It'd be a shame if you couldn't do that. What do you mean? What's the matter? Mean fairy got your tongue? <laughs> okay, have fun with that. See ya! And I will see ya. Because there is no way I'm going to let you break my curse and spoil all my fun! Ooh, I didn't see that coming. Let's keep reading. Chapter 3, here we go! Wiggle, snap, story time! First, let's check on Briar Rose. Still sleeping. Buttercup and Twinkles thought that they had discovered the perfect match for Briar Rose when they found Prince John. 
But after Grimsley's curse, they couldn't speak. So how were they gonna tell Grand Fairy and Sparkles? What would you do if you were there? Oh, I love charades! A bird, a plane! Superman? I think they're trying to say that a bird attacked them. Why don't you just write it down? None of us know how to read or write. Oh, right. They don't teach that at fairy school. How about drawing? Can you guys draw out what you're trying to say? Grimsley casting a spell and they can't talk. Oh, Grimsley cursed you and took your voices. But why? Because they fell in love with the prince. Huh? Oh, oh, I know. They found the prince to break the spell. And then Grimsley must have found out and cursed them so they couldn't tell anyone. Now tell us how to find that prince. Buttercup and Twinkles drew out directions on how to get to the prince's castle, and Grand Fairy and Sparkle set out to find him. Yay, I'm so happy. Let's check on Briar Rose again and see how things are going with her. Still snoozing away. <laughs> Let's see what she's dreaming about. Ah, it's the one about the prince. Really looks like true love, doesn't it? But wait, what's that? It's the bad fairy Grimsley. Oh no, that's not good. We only want Briar Rose to have sweet dreams. Well, let's get back to the story. When Grand Fairy and Sparkle got to the castle, they scooped it out detective style. Got him, let's go! Remember, try not to scare him. Got it! Hi! <laughs> oh no, he's out cold. Ugh, that's gotta hurt. Hey, just like Briar Rose. She's sleeping, he's sleeping. Smash me to heaven. Hello, Prince. Wake up. Oh, Prince. Here, allow me. Hey, wake up. Uh. Don't be scared. We're fairies, and we've come to tell you about your true love. Huh? But what the good fairies didn't know, boys and girls, is that they were talking to the wrong prince, Prince Peter. Ugh. The right prince, Prince John, was far away. See, Grimsley had beaten Good Fairy and Sparkle to the castle and captured Prince John. That's right, kids. Grimsley would stop at nothing to foil the Good Fairy's effort to break her spell. What? No, that can't be. Where am I? You're in the Enchanted Kingdom, the land of magic and fairies. And who are you? I'm Grimsley, the greatest fairy of them all. Oh, very impressive. And why am I tied up? Well, I may as well tell you. You are supposed to fall in love with a princess named Briar Rose, a.k.a. Sleeping Beauty. I am? Yes, but she's cursed to sleep for 100 years, and I can't have you going to break the curse. Wait, are you talking about THE Sleeping Beauty? I knew she was real. But wait, why don't you want me to break the curse? I don't want you to break the curse because I'm the one who cursed her. But why did you curse her? Because I'm a bad fairy and that's what I do. Now zip it before I curse you too. Prince John had so many more questions, but he decided he'd better do as Grimsley said and zip it. He soon fell asleep and had a dream, a very sweet dream about a lovely princess. Oh no, this doesn't look good. Let's keep reading. Chapter four, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Prince John had fallen asleep and was dreaming of a princess. It was just a dream, but it felt so real. So real that when he woke up, he was very disappointed to find that he was still tied up at Grimsley's. The good news was the bad fairy was nowhere to be seen. Prince John knew that this was his chance. I have to escape. <clears throat> huh, that was easy. Yeah, fun fact, fairies are terrible at tying knots. That's why they never wear shoes with any laces. Oh, now I get it. Once he was untied, Prince John hightailed it out of there, but he quickly found out he had no idea where he was or where he should go. Meanwhile, Briar was still in her deep sleep, dreaming a sweet dream about her prince. Ah, her dashing prince. But then something weird happened. Her prince suddenly changed into someone else. Another prince. But this prince was all wrong. He said, No, I don't think this is true love. Sorry. Huh? That part wasn't a dream. You see, Grand Fairy and Sparkle had brought Prince Peter to see Briar Rose. 
They thought he would take one look at Briar Rose and realize he was madly in love with her, but he just saw a sleeping princess with a little bit of drool on her cheek. They asked him, So, are you in love? And Prince Peter replied, You guessed it. No, I don't think this is true love. Sorry. Are you sure? Yeah, no. Why did you think we'd be in love anyway? She's cursed into a deep sleep, and only her true love can wake her up. We thought that might be you. Whoa, this is the legendary Sleeping Beauty. My brother is always going on and on and on about her. It's like he's in love with her or something. Wait, hold up. You have a brother? Yeah. That must be who Twinkles and Buttercup saw. Where is he? I don't know. I saw him leaving with some little lady. Hey, come to think of it, she had wings just like you guys. Grimsley! We have to go rescue that prince. Let's go! Okay, I guess I'll just see myself out. <laughs> that was so funny. The good fairies set off to find Grimsley's hideout, but they wouldn't find Prince John there. He was wandering the enchanted forest, trying to get to Sleeping Beauty's castle. It must be around here somewhere. Prince John was determined to find Briar Rose. He trudged through the mud. He swam through alligator-infested waters. He leapt over pits of snakes. Nothing could stop him. That is, until he got to a very large, very tall brick wall covered in vines. Whoa, that is one big wall. Whatever, I'll just climb up the vines. Ow, ow, ooh, ah, ugh, ah. You see, the wall was covered in rose vines and prickly thorns, otherwise known as... <gasps> Briars. That's right, kids. Thorny bushes are also known as briars. Prince John wondered if this might be significant. Hey, briars, roses, briar rose. I bet briar rose is on the other side of this wall. And she was. Only trouble was, Prince John would have to climb over the very ouchy wall of thorny briars. But he was determined. The fate of true love kept him going strong. Ah, true love. Ow, ow, ooh, ouch, ooh, ow. About a hundred owls later, and Prince John was at the top of the wall. <gasps> Is this Sleeping Beauty's castle? Wait, what's that noise? That sounds like snoring. This is it. I made it. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm okay. Time to go break the spell. Looks like we're on our way to a happy ending, kids. But wouldn't you know it, trouble was a Bruin in another part of the enchanted forest. Grand Fairy and Sparkle had just made it to Grimsley's hideout and found a very angry Grimsley. And kids, when fairies get angry, watch out. You, you did this. Did what? Released my prisoner. Oh, you mean Briar Rose's one true love? We did it. That looks like he's on his way to break the spell, doesn't it? Not if I get there first. And Grimsley shot out like a cannon. What do you think she's gonna do? I don't know, but we better stop her. Oh, uh, not again. The good fairies knew that they had to stop Grimsley. It was a race against time, good versus evil, but love must prevail. Whoa, that was scary. Let's keep reading. Chapter five, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Prince John had just made it to the sleeping castle. Now, let's go save the princess. Prince John wandered the castle looking for Briar Rose's room, which as it turns out, wasn't too difficult. Well, that was easy. <gasps> All right. Prince John opened the door. You might imagine something like this happened next. My prince, my one true love. Marry me. Oh, so cute. But what really happened is this. Uh, hey, Briar Rose. Um, I think I'm supposed to wake you up. I mean, I don't mean to sound presumptuous or anything, but I might be your true love. It's destiny or something. Um, I guess I'll wait here until you wake up. I'm sorry. This is really awkward. I'm just going to wait outside. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> that was so funny. <gasps> what was that? Sorry, uh, I just fell. Briar Rose, you're awake. Who are... <gasps> you're my prince from the dreams. Huh? You dreamed of me? Yeah. Wait, 
Am I awake or is this another dream? Oh, please, please, pretty, please tell me I'm really awake. You're really awake. And she was. Sleeping Beauty was no longer sleeping. Her true love had awakened her by being clumsy and noisy. How romantic. Yay, I'm so happy. Woohoo! <laughs> Wait, what year is it? How long was I out for? Did you hear me snoring? Oh gosh, do I have drool on my face? Please tell me I don't have drool on my face. All good. Thank goodness. <laughs> so, you broke the spell, huh? <laughs> yes, I'm apparently your one true love. I mean, if it's okay with you. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I already know everything about you. This is so weird, <laughs> but cool. But just as the two lovebirds were getting to know each other, they heard a very odd noise. What is that? It sounds like an airplane. Okay, but what is that? Oh, <laughs> I, I guess those were invented after you were cursed. It's a thing you can fly around in. Oh, what? Cool! Wait, how long was I asleep? Like, almost a full hundred years. Wow, that is so cool. So I'm really, like, over a hundred years old? Is my hair gray? No, it's brown. Um, <laughs> I think we should be more focused on that noise, because it sounds like it's coming right this way. I'm okay. Oh, hello, Briar Rose. You're up. Who are you? It's the bad fairy. We have to run. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, my legs are asleep. I can't move. Uh, watch out. I am Grimsley, the greatest fairy of evil, and I curse you. But before she could finish her curse, Briar Rose said, Pull me out of here. <sighs> hey, where'd they go? Once they got out of the castle, Briar Rose tried to wake up the rest of her body. Better? Yeah, I think so. Okay, good. Because <laughs> it's time to run! Where are we gonna go? I don't know! But wherever they ran, Grimsley was going to follow. And she was working up her worst curse yet! A curse? Oh no. Let's keep reading. Chapter 6. Here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Briar Rose and Prince John were on the run from the bad fairy Grimsley. Only problem was they didn't know where to go. So they kind of just ran around freaking out. <sighs> Meanwhile, since the 100 years of sleeping spell had been broken, the rest of the castle was waking up. We're awake. Hurrah! But the hurrahs stopped when they found that Briar Rose was not in her room. Where's the princess? <gasps> The princess is missing. That's when, rather conveniently, the good fairies arrived. Grand Fairy and Sparkle were exhausted from flying all over, trying to undo Grimsley's mischief. But they had a job to do, and good fairies never give up. Aw, that is so nice. So, we have some good news and some bad news. Good news is the spell has been broken. Yay! But the bad news... What are they doing? Grimsley cursed them and took their voices. They're trying to tell you the bad news. Which is that Grimsley is planning another curse. And we're not sure what she's going to do. But it's probably very, very, very bad. Oh no, she must have taken Briar Rose. Don't worry, we'll find her. Let's go, gang. Back in the forest, Briar Rose and Prince John had found what they thought was a great hiding spot. Let's just hang out here for a bit and maybe Grimsley will just give up and leave. But that proved to be wishful thinking because guess who showed up? Oh no, run! Hey guys, what's up? Are we playing hide and seek? Grimsley! <laughs> yep, Grimsley had found them. Not good. Hmm, let's see. What sort of evil spell should I cast? I could turn you into frogs. That's always fun. Oh, or how about I turn Briar Rose into a frog and Prince John into a fly? And then Briar the Frog will eat John the Fly. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, no thanks. Oh, I could turn you into donkeys. Have people, have horse, maybe turn you into statues. Oh, I know. I won't turn you into anything at all. You won't? No. I'll turn myself into... A dragon? What are we gonna do? Uh, I don't know, run? Okay, maybe not. 
Fortunately, help was on the way. The good fairies were flying at top speed on the hunt for Grimsley, ready to stop her in her evil tracks. Uh oh! Uh, what's our plan again? Find Grimsley and trap her in this bag. Yeah, I think we'll need a bigger bag. I have an idea. Follow me. The good fairies flew right at Grimsley's face. You know, the one that was breathing fire at everyone? Usually not a good idea, but... Pixie Glitter, now! Hey, get out of here! I can't see! Ow! I burned myself! Well, maybe you should stop breathing fire! Never! Ow! Ha! You're in trouble, villain! Give it up, Grimsley! You're a thief! Yeah, Prince John and Briar Rose have true love. They broke the spell. Yeah, love wins. This was like a poison to Grimsley. Bad fairies do not like love. Ugh, gross. Don't invite me to the wedding. Don't worry, you're not going anywhere. Except fairy jail. Is that a thing? We'll figure it out. The important thing was that the day was saved. Grimsley was defeated and forced to undo all her evil spells. Twinkles and Buttercup got their voices back and the Enchanted Kingdom was awake and happy. Normally, we'd say that this was a happy ending, but since Briar Rose and John only just met, let's call this one a happy beginning. That was such a great ending. Thanks for coming to Storytime. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>